For your health and safety, the University of Maine has been designated as a tobacco-free campus. Smoking and the use of open flame devices is strictly prohibited in all university buildings. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for being here today. It is wonderful to see everyone in person. Based on the latest CDC guidance and increasing transmission of COVID-19 throughout the state, we ask that you wear face coverings indoors when not eating or drinking. Mask and hand sanitizer dispensers are located throughout the arena. Thank you for helping us ensure our community's safety. Welcome to the commencement celebration of the University of Maine's classes of 2020 and 2021. Our program will begin in just a few minutes. Please note that emergency exit doors are located in the east and west main lobbies and the north and south ends of the arena concourse. They are designated by red exit signs. For medical assistance, please see the nearest usher. In the event of an emergency, please exit in a calm and orderly fashion and follow the directions of the ushers and other event personnel. Our program begins today with Aaron Copeland's Fanfare for the Common Man performed by the University of Maine's Ceremonial Brass. Please rise and give your attention to this musical presentation, which announces the entrance of the classes of 2020 and 2021.
Good morning. I am Joan Farini Mundy, the president of the University of Maine and our regional campus, the University of Maine at Machias. The University of Maine recognizes that it is located on Marsh Island in the homeland of the Penobscot Nation, where issues of water and territorial rights and encroachment upon sacred sites are ongoing. Penobscot homeland is connected to the other Wabanaki tribal nations, the Passamaquoddy, Maliseet, and Mi'kmaq, through kinship, alliances, and diplomacy. The university also recognizes that the Penobscot Nation and the other Wabanaki tribal nations are distinct, sovereign, legal, and political entities with their own powers of self-governance and self-determination. Welcome to the class of 2020 and the class of 2021 commencement celebration. Please remain standing as the ceremonial brass conducted by Professor Philip Edelman performs our national anthem. Please be seated. Welcome and welcome back to the University of Maine. We are just thrilled to be here together on this special day during these extraordinary times. I want to congratulate and thank you all for completing your UMaine degrees under some of the worst circumstances of the COVID pandemic. The conclusion of your college experience was in no way what you anticipated when you joined us now five or six or more years later. But you did persevere, you learned to advocate for yourselves and accomplish your own learning, and as people across the planet tried to figure out how to cope with the unexpected, and for so many deadly pandemic, you accomplished a milestone by attaining your college degrees. And we can't be more proud and more delighted to congratulate you here today. Since May of 2020 and 2021, many of you have moved on to graduate school or taken new positions here in Maine and beyond. I want to, you to know how much it means to all of us on campus that you are here today, that you have come back to celebrate, to have the in-person celebration and the special recognition that every one of you deserves. It's amazing to look back on the last year or two and take stock of the many, many ways in which the world around us has changed, and you've been a part of making that change. 
Here on campus, the Furland Engineering Education and Design Center is nearly complete. I hope you got a look at that. UMaine has been designated an R1 University in Research. Our faculty continue to adapt to new ways of teaching, and every day we are defining and redefining what it means to live and learn in this evolving society. The wider world has changed, too. Our society is grappling with long overdue questions about equity and inclusion and exploring ways in which we can grow and sustain a vibrant world economy in the face of climate change. These are the questions of our times, and as daunting as they are, I take great comfort in the lessons that I learned from you, the class of 2020 and the class of 2021. You showed us how to overcome. You showed us what persistence looks like, what adaptability looks like, and what hope looks like. You have brought distinction in your time here at UMaine and in your time uh, since we've last seen you to your families and to us with your achievements. You've challenged ideas, made discoveries, created for society, campaigned for hundreds of causes, supported each other and the community through challenging times, and learned to be leaders and innovators. Thank you for choosing UMaine for your academic pursuits and for sticking with UMaine to pursue and receive your degree. Everyone always has choices, and you remain loyal to being a black bear, even when we couldn't be together. You chose UMaine because, for a variety of reasons, it was the best choice for you, and the caring and commitment that we have to learning carried on. I want to thank your families and friends for joining you here today, parents, grandparents, siblings, spouses, partners, close friends, children, aunts, uncles, cousins, co-workers, alumni, Whoever's here for you today, it's here because they care about you, they're proud of you, they're excited for you. This is their celebration of your graduation as well. Why don't you find them in the audience and applaud, wave, and cheer, and let them know how much you appreciate them. It's also appropriate to take a moment to thank the faculty, the staff, and the university administrators who have helped to guide you on the paths that you have chosen. So next, a round of applause, please, for those who have worked with you for your success. <clears throat> I'd like to take this moment now to introduce the members of the stage party. Please hold your applause until all of them have, um, have been able to stand. Sven Bartholomew, University of Maine System Board of Trustees member. Cheryl Coffin, University of Maine Board of Visitors member and also a graduate uh, with you all today. Representative Robert Dana, Vice President for Student Life and Inclusive Excellence and Dean of Students. John Diamond, President and CEO, University of Maine Alumni Association. Yukeme Waxien Jeter, Alumna and Community Commencement Speaker. William Nichols, Faculty Senate President and Professor in Literacy Education. Hemant Penzi, 2021 Distinguished Maine Professor and Professor and Chair of the Department of Chemical and Biomedical Engineering. Christopher Richards, Vice President for Enrollment Management. Cody Vararamian, Vice President for Research and Dean of the Graduate School. John Vollen, Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost. James Ward, Vice President for Innovation and Economic Development and Sierra Yost, alumna and 2020 valedictorian. Thank you. Every year, the university celebrates the achievements of our inspiring faculty through several awards. The University of Maine names three presidential award winners for, the outsta for outstanding teaching, research and creative achievement, and public service achievement. The names of the 2020 and 2021 Presidential Award winners are in your programs. I now invite those award winners, award winners and all faculty who are with us today to stand so that we can again express our appreciation for your commitment to fostering learner success, for your research that advances our knowledge, and for your community engagement to strengthen the state of Maine, our nation, and the world. So faculty, we'd like to recognize you formally. Each year, the University of Maine Alumni Association names the University of Maine Distinguished Maine Professor in recognition of a faculty member who exemplifies the highest qualities of teaching, research, and public service. The 2021 Distinguished Maine Professor is Hemant Penzi, an internationally recognized leader in forest bioproducts research. 
Hammond has spearheaded innovative research that has earned two patents, garnered $17 million in external funding, and yielded new economic opportunities for Maine through his work on forest bioproducts. He founded the Forest Bioproducts Research Institute in 2010 and serves as its director. Under his leadership, FBRI built the nation's first pilot scale plant for manu manufacturing nanocellulose. Students know Hemant as an educator who challenges them to think critically, provides clear and concise lessons, is always willing to help, and dedicates himself to their success. At this time, I invite 2021 Distinguished Maine Professor Hemant Penzi to offer greetings on behalf of the University of Maine faculty. Welcome home, alumni from classes of 2020 and 2021. Congratulations to everyone who has received their degrees during COVID-19 pandemic and were not able to celebrate this important event in person. The human community recognizes how hard you have worked to earn your degrees. You should be proud of your achievements at UMaine and celebrate today. I want to highlight Sierra Yost from my pre-pandemic junior level chemical engineering course, who is on the stage today as the 2020 valedictorian. It's my privilege to join you today in your celebration as the recipient of 2021 Distinguished Men Professor Award for my work as a professor and chair of the chemical and biomedical engineering department, where I have worked for past 42 years. Last May, I walked across an empty stage in an empty auditorium. It's my biggest honor of my career to receive this award and address you all in person today. I recognize how difficult I recognize how difficult it was to complete your degrees remotely. I want to also recognize all your parents, siblings, family and friends who supported you during this unique challenge and who also deserve to celebrate. I'm sure you have realized by now that UMaine has prepared you well for the world outside. UMaine gave us many opportunities to grow and have many broader impacts on the Maine community and the world at large, striving for new knowledge new to you and new to the world is a noble undertaking. And I commend your efforts. The next step you are all embarking on is to communicate to others on why they should care about something as much as you do, if not more. This will serve you well in all aspects of your life. Show your passion about your field and the opportunities will continue to arise. Over the past four, de four decades, I have seen many of my brightest students flourish as alumni, and I'm proud to see many of them now as my professional colleagues and peers. I hope you continue to engage with the alumni community and know that you will always be part of the human family. Thank you so much, Professor Penzi. The University of Maine System Board of Trustees oversees the management and operations of the University of Maine System with its seven member campuses, including this flagship campus and the Maine School of Law. It is a pleasure to have with us today Trustee Sven Bartholomew of Brewer. He serves as a senior vice president overseeing business banking at Camden National Bank. In his nearly 20-year banking career, which includes serving as Senior Vice President at Bangor Savings Bank, Sven has worked with thousands of Maine employers in almost every industry and governmental affiliation. He is also involved in workforce and economic development in Maine as a corporator and board member of the Eastern Maine Development Corporation. I can also add that I know he visits the University of Maine and does something, rides trail bikes or something, 
something very athletic sounding. Um, in any case, a wonderful mentor and wise member of our board who cares deeply about the system and the University of Maine. Please welcome Trustee Bartholomew. Good morning. It's an honor to be here with the University of Maine class of 2020 and 2021 to celebrate this amazing milestone in your lives. Graduation from college is a culmination of years of hard work, so please enjoy this moment. You've earned this celebration. You have persevered through a historic time for the University of Maine system. Many of our college students have seen nearly half of their undergraduate time at the University of Maine through a pandemic. Being here today is a testament to your ambition, determination, and grit. You have made it, and we thank you for your commitment to your education. As I look around at the students who are graduating today, I appreciate your resolve to complete your coursework, frequently in different modalities from online, hybrid, or in person. You have overcome adversity most of us have never experienced in college, and I truly believe this experience will make you better, both in your personal lives and in your careers. This experience has shown you how to overcome obstacles you face in your life. I would like to thank the parents of the students for their unwavering support as we all learn to steer through a pandemic together. Your belief in the importance of a college education has been instrumental in our students' success. You have advocated for higher education in your families and communities and provided support to assist students as they define a vision of their future. Thank you. I would also like to thank the University of Maine faculty and staff for their dedication to providing exemplary education through the pandemic your ability to transition to remote instruction and your commitment to ensuring your students were engaged and successful in classes is and continues to distinguish you, Maine, as a champion of higher education in Maine and throughout the country. Together, we have achieved significant accomplishments. We awarded 1,819 bachelor degrees in 2020 and 1,855 in 2021. We also saw full-time, first-time bachelor retention rates between 76 and 78% persistence, meaning 76 and 78% of our first-year students persisted to become sophomores in 2020 and 2021. This is a major achievement of our students on the path to becoming graduates. It shows commitment of all students, families, and faculty. 72% of our 2020 graduates and 73% of our 2021 graduates borrowed money in order to accomplish their undergraduate degrees. This emphasizes the importance of a high-quality, low-cost college experience. No, we as trustees have, have and continue to work very hard to ensure college is affordable and attainable for all Maine families. We are all proud of the work our students have accomplished to earn this day. We know many of you have waited a long time to celebrate this achievement, and your hard work has paid off. As you continue to grow in your careers, please remember to continue your relationship with the University of Maine. We can help you through a lifetime of learning, and we offer many resources that will provide beneficial as you face obstacles and opportunities throughout your life. Let's continue the conversation together. Congratulations on this significant accomplishment. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much, Trustee Bartholomew. Okay, I'm going to go off script a little. <coughs> it makes everybody nervous. But first of all, I just want to wish a sincerely happy Mother's Day to everybody in the audience. And we can clap for... And, and secondly, I'm curious about who's here. So could you raise your hand if you've not been back to campus since you left in 2020 or 2021? All right, well, we're delighted to see you. Great. And we should have done one of those who came from far away, but is there somebody who thinks they came from the furthest away? Anybody want to nominate themselves for that? Anybody from the West Coast? All right, where are you from? 
can't hear her. Vancouver, okay, well that's good. And then for those who've been nearby, how many of you are still affiliated with the University of Maine in some way? How many are either working here in graduate school? All right, we're delighted to have you all still here. It's great. Well, we, we could not be happier to be together today um, and to be celebrating you, so, so thank you for this. It's now my great pleasure to introduce our distinguished alumni address by Yukemi Awakasian Jeter. Yukemi is a partner at Taft, a national law firm with approximately 625 attorneys, where her practice focuses on helping clients drive innovation. She enjoys collaboratively working with brilliant minds on developing solutions to the emerging and complex challenges encountered when bringing innovative and revolutionary products and services to market. Yukemi is an active member of her community in Ohio. In 2021, she was elected to Upper Arlington City Council, making history as the first person of color elected to council in the city's 103-year history. In her community, Yukemi is a tireless advocate for causes of access, equity, and inclusion. She received a JD from Case Western Reserve University School of Law, an MBA from University of Massachusetts Lowell, and a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from UMaine. She is on the UMaine Alumni Association Board of Directors. I wish a happy Mother's Day to her mother, Comfort, who is here today in the audience, and to Yukemi. I want to say that I think her two young children are great prospects to be black bears when they are old enough, or maybe soon. In any case, please, please join me now in welcoming Yukemi Awakesian Jeter. Good morning. Well, it is just such an honor to be here. President Farini Mundy, thank you for the honor and privilege of being here. John Diamond, thank you uh, for the invitation. The distinguished faculty, staff, thank you for adapting your teaching styles in record time to see to it that these graduates completed their degrees despite the pandemic. Members of Board of Trustees, Board of Visitors, parents, family, friends, thank you. Thank you for supporting these graduates through unprecedented times. And on this Mother's Day, mom to mom, happy Mother's Day. Um, it, it is uh, truly a labor of love. And so I congratulate all of you for sharing your Mother's Day to be here. Our classes of honor, classes of 2020 and 2021, welcome back and many congratulations. I can think of no greater honor than being asked back to your alma mater to speak. If I can be honest, I'm both delighted and terrified. Have any of you ever been asked to do something, something that everyone automatically assumes you'll be good at? But deep down you have doubts you doubt your abilities and triumphed during these times have been truly impressive. You are classes that history will ascribe a collective badge of honor. Yours are classes that have rewritten what it means to be resilient and adaptable. Yours are classes that have led transformation and yours are the classes of hope. As I fretted over what I would say to you all today, I thought about my time here. I zeroed in on the world I was graduating into almost two decades ago, which is kind of hard to believe because I'm still young. Um, <laughs> you know, there was no time hop then, um, no social media to pop me up a reminder. In fact, Facebook had just launched that February I graduated. And I had used my .edu account to sign up for this cool new thing that was circulating campuses. We had survived Y2K without global combustion. Uh, instead, we were fully in the tech boom. We were almost three years post 9-11. And Pat Tillman, a former NFL player who left the sport 
to enlist in the U.S. Army during the aftermath of 9-11 was killed in the war in Afghanistan. And that sparked a national discourse about the war. There was also a national debate at that time on the issue of same-sex marriage. A week after my graduation, Massachusetts would become the first state to legalize same-sex marriage. Now, I paint the picture of the world that I graduated into so you can see how it was filled with uncertainty. While the world you have graduated into may feel far more precocious than the one that I did, the feelings and anxieties are real. In a way, all graduations are. It's a time we leave the comfort of academic life and enter the real world. It's a time we all have to confront that nagging feeling of what next. For many of you here, you're already probably down the road of something, in your first job, in graduate school, thinking about graduate school. Maybe you're back home, in your childhood home, waiting out the pandemic. What next? I don't know. I know that's not the profound answer that you were hoping from me today, but if my experiences have taught me anything, it has reaffirmed that while we may never know where life is going to take us, with the privilege of your education, you have the opportunity to chart your own path. I had the pleasure of flying into Bangor yesterday from Columbus, Ohio, with my mom as my seatmate. That's a real treat, you know, because the older you get, having unburdened time with your parents is priceless. I had my speech pulled up, and she asked me to hear it. I read it to her, and after she listened, she suggested a few changes. I told her, Mom, I've already sent in the speech, and I've been told to stick to the script. She chuckled, and she said to me, your life has never stuck to the script. <laughs> well, thanks, Mom. That gem is just what I will speak to you all today about. I will go where I have learned to thrive best, off script. Living off script is a learned skill. I've learned to achieve anything meaningful in life. You can't be afraid to try new things. Doing so, however, is not easy. See, I am a Nigerian immigrant who came to UMaine, an international student, bullish on becoming a mechanical engineer and then working for a major auto company designing cars. Hashtag goals. I did become a mechanical engineer, but today I'm also a lawyer and an elected local government official. That journey has led me to this podium, back to where it all began, to share my story. See, who I am today was never a figment of my imagination when I sat in those seats. So my message to you is this. Let life surprise you. Go off script sometimes. I chose UMaine, sight on scene. It was a highly regarded engineering program. I had had pleasant encounters with the international office prior to my arrival. And I trusted my dad, who raved about the state of Maine, having been an immigrant himself and had gone to Bowdoin. I had no friends here, no networks, and I certainly did not own a winter jacket. Before you, Maine, I had never seen snow a day in my life, just on TV. Looked pretty. With the brazen confidence only an 18-year-old with a set goal could have, I boarded an international flight by myself, two suitcases in hand. So frost-spitten fingers and all, I unearthed a love here for building welcoming communities by working as a tour guide and an orientation leader for Team Maine. I honed my leadership skills and would advocate for causes of residence as a resident assistant in Hart Hall. I discovered a love for varying wood properties at the Composite Center, 
So much so that despite having had a co-op with an auto manufacturing company in line with designing cars, when I had to choose my first job as a mechanical engineer, I would go off script and follow my love for wood. As cliche as it may sound, I have followed my heart since. It's led me to pursuing a law degree, and now I get to blend my love for engineering and advocacy, which started here when I had the opportunities to do that for students as a resident assistant. It's led me to seeking public office. See, in 2020, when we were all reckoning with racial injustice, what our world needed most was leaders who could build back community. I would use the skills I uncovered here, building welcoming communities, to run a people-centered campaign and win as a first-time candidate in a city with a majority white population, making history as the first person of color elected in that city's 103-year-old history. Thank you. My kids think it's pretty cool. They flex all the time in town. My mom, the Yukemi, my guys, don't do that. <laughs> but you know, going off script takes leaning into fear. Do not be afraid to try something new or pivot altogether. Your biggest challenge when you do will be overcoming your fears. To be fearless is not to be without fear. So let's go back to imposter syndrome. All that really is, is a fear of our capabilities. I encourage you to treat it and overcome it like culture shock. Use it as an opportunity simply to learn. Because they say, what does an engineer turned lawyer know about running public office? I don't know, but I know I have the capability to learn, right? You will face situations in the year ahead where you will have no relevant expertise, or so you'll feel. Your intellect will not supply you a needed answer, and imposter syndrome will set in. In those moments, use the opportunity before you to improve rather than prove. You do this, and you will shift from questioning your capabilities to believing you are capable of learning anything. Fear can be a great motivator. It certainly has been for me. But so long as you do not let it overcome your desire for moving forward in your journey, fear is good. While at it, enjoy the journey. How? Stay open. Stay open to opportunities that challenge your conventional wisdom. Let life surprise you. As you encounter those opportunities, lean into the fears. There, you will find growth. Lean into what ignites your soul. There, you will radiate happiness. Stay hydrated. It's important. Develop relationships and stay close to people that feel like the sun. They will keep you encouraged. And dialogue with those that have different perspectives from you. There, you will develop empathy. Take heed in Socrates' words, and beware of the barrenness of a busy life. Get sleep. Take care of yourself, your physical and mental health. Along the journey, when you encounter rejection, and you will, or folks disagree with you, many, many will. Welcome that simply as an opportunity to further clarify your position for yourself and move on. Remember, the goal is to improve, not prove. Go off script a little bit. The world is yours now, and I can't wait to see what you make of it. I can't wait to live in it. So go Black Bears, congratulations, and thank you for letting me be here with you today.
Thank you so, so much, Ukemi. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the class of 2020, valedictorian Sierra Yost, who comes from Wyndham, Maine. Sierra was a chemical engineering major and honors college student and member of the UMaine cross country and track and field teams. Her honors thesis focused on the application of cellulose nanofibers as an alternative to plastics in disposable utensils. As part of her UMaine experience, she completed a two-term co-op with Onyx Specialty Papers in South Lee, Massachusetts, an opportunity that she credits with sparking her love of research, which has inspired her to pursue a PhD in chemical engineering. Perhaps she'll tell you how her experience as a doctoral student compares with being an undergraduate. Please welcome Sierra Yost. It's never too late to change your path. I know, odd thing to start a graduation speech with, but bear with me. I met a gentleman at a ski lift this past winter at Sunday River, UMaine chemical engineer, class of 1970 something. Thanks to the Pulp and Paper Foundation, after graduation, he had his choice of mills to work at. But that wasn't the path he wanted. He dreamt of spending his life in the great outdoors, not in a mill. So he worked as ski patrol and a raft guide for a few years, all while enjoying all that Maine has to offer. When he was 30, he returned to UMaine, earned his forestry degree, and has since been living his dream of working in the mountains every single day. He changed his path. Just as we all followed different paths to get to this point, from here, on our own paths, we'll diverge again. This degree is not a box to keep ourselves in, but a step up towards a brighter future. As an underclassman at UMaine, I was eager to enter industry, even co-oping at a paper mill for two semesters. If someone had told my undergraduate self that I would now be designing novel polymers for additive manufacturing while pursuing a PhD, I wouldn't have believed them. But my path changed, and I'm not alone. Donald Holder graduated UMaine in the class of 1980 with a degree in forestry, and he went on to win a Tony for the lighting design for the Broadway musical, The Lion King. My high school history teacher, who graduated from UMF, he lives his dream by being the touring drummer for the band Boston. Yeah, that band, Boston. One of my biggest role models in life got his degree in economics from the UMaine, class of 1986. In the time since, he's been a bartender, a bar owner, a parking lot attendant, a consultant, and as if all that wasn't enough, just 10 short years ago, he switched his path again to follow his aspiration of becoming a realtor. And between you and me, I still don't think he knows what he wants to do when he grows up. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Do you know what these people have in common? Their ambition. This drove them to explore new paths outside the scope of their degree and then thrive at them. They possess a drive that all of you sitting before me have. This drive is what pushed you for so many years through calculus exams and essays, foosball games, all the way now to now where you sit before me with a degree in hand. This is the drive that will follow you no matter where your life takes you and how many times you change your path. Hold on to this drive and it will take you far. Just remember, success is in the journey, not the destination, and our journeys are just getting started. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sierra. I now call on University of Maine's Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost John Vollen to come to the podium, please. Will the baccalaureate alumni please rise? That's all you. <laughs> yeah. President Perini Mundy, these students were recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. I have the honor of presenting them to you so that we can celebrate their degree achievement.
Congratulations, members of the Class of 2020 and the Class of 2021. With your degrees conferred, your tassels are now worn on the left. So if it's not on the left, make sure it is. And um, Provost Vallen and I would like to try to get a selfie. We don't know if this will work, but we're going to try this. Sierra, you need to be up here, too. OK? Oops. Oh. Uh. OK, got it. Thank you for that. I now invite you to please come forward one row at a time upon signal from the university marshals. All others should please be seated. As is our tradition, we recognize the valedictorians and salutatorians with the first degree presentations. So Sierra, please do come forward for your recognition. Maine Business School, Faye Gilbert, Dean. Joshua Matthew Minor. Bryce Cameron Nitchman. Peter Brennan. Julia Christensen Blute. Brianna Ricker. Edward Lefevre. Olivia Bamford. Miriam May. Andrew Hutchins. Jeremiah Merle Richardson. Mark Kelso McLaughlin. Maria Layton, the Division of Lifelong Learning, William Ellis, Associate Professor, School of Marine Sciences. <laughs> Jennifer Joyce Javoy. Catherine Wing. The College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, Emily Haddad, Dean. Dylan Owens. Cheyenne Deseron Laszlo. Joseph Vincent Caruso. Emily Ann Scruton. Kaylee R. Wolf. Colleen Gallagher. Joseph William Flaherty. Zachary Ryan Jones. Zachary White. Jacob Emery Tupper Broderick. Yeah. 
Cody James Embleton. Jane Elizabeth Horovitz. Colleen Demaris. Henricus Freeman. Sydney Leiter. Alexandria Elizabeth Hill. Caitlin Ann Carney. Maya Four Feathers Lopez. Jacob Budarazzi. Andrew David Wilson. Carolyn Bell. Morgan Delaney McGird. Catherine Hebert. Samantha Grimwood. Shania Nicole Soler. Jasmine Virginia Boussier. Sophia Rose Lynn. Kevin Michael Kane. Brady Thomas Dolan. Ryan Thomas Conway. Michaela Ann Ellis. Jacob Paul Gebhardt. Hannah Edgecombe. Patrick Groning. Gabriel Richard Flegel. Haley Bryn Messier. Jacob Raymond Feria. Patrick Aaron White. Sarah Starr Penny. Owen Savage. Delaney Morgan Woodward. Elizabeth Dawn Gillen. Leah Rachel Jennings. Mackenzie Nicole Dunton. Alejandro Nico Oregon. Aiden Ratcliffe Lammert. Cheryl Coffin.
the College of Education and Human Development, Penny Bishop, Dean. Brian Robert Harris. Jessica Lynn Obi. Hannah Elizabeth Witten. Elizabeth Christine Trevisani. Sydney Marie Osterhout. Emma Hitchens. Rachel Lauren Davidson. Riley Shane Field. Laura Farragher Gemma. Abigail Elise Hayward. Rebecca Bell. Catherine Marie Duby. Cassidy Daly Schaefer. Olivia Bullock. The College of Natural Sciences, Forestry and Agriculture, Diane Rowland, Dean. Jacob Hartley Farmer. Gabrielle Angelica McIntosh. Brianna Ann Lifland. Emma Elizabeth Reedman. David Aloysius Bennett. Alessandra Francis Riley. <laughs> Sophia Claire LaFrance. Joanna Kate LaFrance. Anna Alden Fitch. Me Megan Elizabeth Lassard. <laughs> Hannah May Burns. <laughs> Stuart Lees Hodge. <laughs> Elena Emily Uland. Brittany Ann Morales. Anthony Zenga. Carlton Scott. Matthew Goldsmith. Auden Lacarazza. Brandon McBride. Taylor Noel Eastman. Madeline Burgess. Amber Lynn Ferris. Miranda Noel Ferrani.
Juliet Aquino. Hannah Belleville. Jillian Blair Henderson. Lila Teton Flood. Courtney Reddish. Victoria Elizabeth Smith. Monica Hotham. Kelsey Marie Cole. Shannon Lynn Smith. Joshua Michael Lynn. Megan Dunnock. Avantraya Gullage. The College of Engineering, Dana Humphrey Dean. Allison Eileen Bessette. Julie Stroba. Claire Lupian. <laughs> Megan Caroline McKeon. <laughs> Benjamin Quimby. <laughs> Cooper Nelson. Hunter Gross. Derek Michael Haas. Cameron Sullivan. Isaac Parker. Christopher Fox Perkins. Kevin Michael McNulty. Frank Robert Schweitzer. Cody George Burns. Daniel Morrow. Joanna Faith Keaton. Lauren Elizabeth LaBay. Tanager Karchinas. Matthew Thomas Lambert. Mitchell St. Peter. Chautu E. Karasani. Cora Cook. Hannah Evangeline Peasley. Marissa Bell Sewell. Paul Joseph Desi. And Ines Chiara.
And now let me introduce John Diamond, the CEO of the University of Maine Alumni Association. John. Thank you, President Perini Mundy. Good, good morning. It's still morning, everybody. Uh, and thank you to the returning members of the class of 2020 and 2021. Welcome back. As the President said, I'm the President and CEO of the Humane Alumni Association. And on behalf of our organization, let me offer my gratitude for the effort you have made to commemorate your graduation and also allow me to thank the family members and friends who made the trip to campus today to be part of it. Your attendance here means a lot. I say that because it's a reflection of the value you found in your humane experience and the pride you take in having completed your degree under the most trying of circumstances. We thank you for persevering. I want to remind you of the Alumni Association's mission and why we matter. Our organization is an independent one. We're not par a formal part of the university. Our purpose is to help maintain the value, the affordabil affordability, and the reputation of a humane education for its students, and that means for the former students, the alumni like yourselves, the current students, and those to come. We do it through print and digital communications, programs and events, and public advocacy with the governor, the legislature, and taxpayers to promote the quality, the importance, and the return on investment from a strong, well-supported UMaine. Much of our work is intended to keep our members informed and engaged in ways that help develop your social and professional networks and opportunities. Notice that I say we want to help our members. All of you who earned your degree in 2020 or 2021 are members, along with 110,000 other Black Bear alumni living in all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and more than 100 countries of the world. And membership in the Alumni Association is free. You've earned it. We don't want anything to get in the way of your ability to take part in the programs, events, and resources that we offer. As you probably noticed, we've left a small token of our appreciation on the seats of today's returning graduates. It's a pad folio featuring the Alumni Association crest on the front. We hope you carry it with pride. We also hope that as alumni, you will get involved as volunteers and advocates for UMaine. The Alumni Association needs your help to build and sustain UMaine's relationships, resources, and reputation, and to do so in ways that create educational opportunities for others. Again, congratulations on your UMaine degree, and thanks for coming back. In the words and spirit of the Maine Stein song, Here's to Maine, our alma mater, the college of our hearts, always. Thank you. So here in the program is where the president would normally give a charge to the graduates, and we will still do that to the graduates and to the alumni. It is simple define tomorrow. You already are and you have been since 2020 or 2021 and now. And I'm going to borrow from you Kemi's talk, um, stay off, go off script. Uh, I do think that taking some risks, having fun, taking, um, taking chances in a sense with your future as a, as a way to define tomorrow is, is really quite important. You've already experienced how to do that in your time with us at the University of Maine. You have the knowledge, the insights, the perseverance, the persistence to do whatever you choose. I hope that you are happy in what you are doing now and that you realize that you'll have so many more options as life proceeds that uh, you'll take, take them up. Define tomorrow for our world. We need you. The climate's changing, so is society. There's work to be done to ensure that all peop people are empowered to live freely, authentically, and without fear. Do what you can to sustain our planet and make our world a peaceful, just, and equitable place. Enjoy yourselves. Remember how important it is to laugh and to have fun. And do let us know how you're doing, what we can do to help you, and to help the students who will follow you. 
thank you for choosing humane. The selfie came out pretty well, so we'll send that to everybody. Or we'll post it someplace or something. Um, congratulations to all of you. What a special day for, for all of us here at the University of Maine. We're delighted to have you here. want to thank you. Um, this concludes the University of Maine's Class of 2020 and Class of 2021 commencement celebration. I want to thank Professor and Conductor Philip Edelman and the Ceremonial Brass. Yep. Reader Danny Williams, Yukemi Awakesian Jeter, Trustee Bartholomew, and everybody who was a part of making today's celebration such a wonderful event. Will the audience please rise and remain standing as the stage party, faculty, and graduates leave the arena? And please join Danny Williams as he leads us in singing the Maine Stein song. Thank you again. <laughs>